last days. Those are important things. And then the rest of that chapter, pretty much, you know what it's all about? Giving. That reinstituting the covenant had a lot to do with giving. You'll never see where God spoke to someone that they did not build an altar or give something. That, that when God moved in a person's life, the first reaction that usually happened was giving. Giving is such an important part. And I was just thinking about how we say, you know, we don't give to get. That has to do with motive. So I'm not sitting here saying, God, if I give this, you're going to do this for me. I don't do that. Because I think God's going to give me much more than I could ever imagine, dream, or ask for. But it doesn't... Paula White says, you don't give to get. She says, well, I don't do that. But anyway, here I get her appeal letters and emails, which she sends out just about every day. So let's hear what Paula has to say. So listen to this, because this is very powerful, and you may never have a season like this the rest of your life. It's about activating something miraculous supernaturally. Now, you're going to get excited because when you hear this, it's all going to click and something's going to happen. And when you respond, I promise you, it's going to change the rest of your life. You're not standing in line for your miracle. You're only one away. You're one prayer, one activation, one idea, one person, one opportunity. You are one away, one act of obedience away. And what does that mean to Paula? That means sending her a seed faith gift, and then you will get this miracle activated. Here's another part of this email. You say, what do I do? The answer is simple. You sow. In other words, you give money. You say, so what? What's that mean? You sow is God required out of Isaac to sow seed. Yeah, well, Isaac didn't have to give money. I don't think, I think she's misquoting that. You sow in wisdom. This is a wisdom seed. This is what I'm sending. This is what I'm sensing. You are about to change everything. Get ready to be healed. You get ready. Your whole world is going to change. It's 2023. Listen to his prophet. I'm telling you to sow. In the midst of your crisis, God is preparing to put provision in your hands, expansion at your feet, fruitfulness all over your life. I don't know why, but I just feel very strong about this. I want you to get a sacrifice of $2,023 for the year 2023. This is a powerful faith act. It is an effective strategy against enemies and forces of darkness. Yeah, maybe the force of darkness is you, Paula. You Think about how many people come against what they call the prosperity, and I deal with all that. I talk about what is provision, what is prosperity, what does that actually mean, secular terms, biblical terms, and what they're saying, because none of us believe God's a Santa Claus. Right. None yeah. of us believe you give to get. Yeah. Right. You know, none of us believe like there's this lotto machine. Yeah. We w work out a generosity. You know, we walk out of, I want to be generous. God is watching over everything you do, and you are storing up eternal treasure that will go so far beyond, I think, that we could even begin to imagine. You need to send in $3,500. You need to send in $35,000. You need to send in that $100,000 check. If you do not write that P.O. box, and you do not call that toll-free number, and you do not become a ministry of sustainer, you will never see sustainment in your life, and your dream will die. You're saying, you either don't don't know God or you don't know how God operates when God wants to raise you up he often takes you down in order to receive you have to release in order to get you have to give in order to live you since like the first reaction that usually happened was giving giving is such an important part and I was just thinking about how we say you know we don't give to get that has to do with motive so I'm not sitting here saying, God, if I give this, you're going to do this for me. I don't do that because I think God's going to give me much more than I could ever imagine. Dream. Don't forget to check out my book on Amazon, President Trump's pastor, Paula White, the miracle selling huckster who became the spiritual advisor to the world's most powerful man. 
It's over 200 pages, large print. We expose the real Paula White, the con artist. Repent, Paula, before it's too late.